to New Jersey Power and Politics. I'm Laura Jones alongside Jim McQueenie. And Dr. Bart Rossi is a psychologist and a regular here on the show. He's here now to talk about conflict, specifically the Moss conflict. He is also the author of the new New American Lifestyle post September 11th, 2001. Good to have you nice here. Nice to be here again. Psychologists talk about conflict so much. What makes the Moss conflict so unique and different? Well, really, it's a, it's a classic approach avoidance conflict because if you approach it one way, you know, you, you don't want to build the mosque there or you approach it the other way with the First Amendment and you really want to put it there because, you know, otherwise you're avoiding the First Amendment. When you go with one side, you're, you have to avoid the other. So a classic approach avoidance situation, which, which really, uh, I think, represents this quite well because there really are two sides to the story. We, we all have retained anger as a result of 9-11, okay? And I, I, in the book, I even talk about how angry we are as a country as a result of this, okay? Well, that brings up a lot of feelings when, when a mosque is going to go there. But on the other side of the coin, of course, we have the First Amendment. And are we stronger or weaker if we move this mosque? A lot of people, even family members, say that we are, in fact, weaker if we move it. Others, of course, say that we are there in the other direction, of course. Bart, uh, one of the things we saw in an interview earlier in the show, Laura and Governor Kane, he was talking about how our biggest danger may come from home-brewed terrorists at this point in time. Right. What psychologically creates a home-brewed terrorist? Well, psychologists talk a lot about retained anger, people who grow up being extremely angry, and sometimes they don't project it. They don't really act out impulsively. It's a kind of a growing uh, cancer inside, if you will, uh, in terms of their personality. And their, their personality is, is, is a really um, with rage and characteristics that they really where they want to get back at everybody and everybody they can think of. Uh, therefore, blow up buildings, therefore be well, a terrorist. Let me just yeah. take that on for one second, because the London uh, bombings there, where the young kids basically went in the subway and the buses and blew them up and it was horrible, um, they did a study after that, and that's not what they picked up about these kids. They found a lot of these kids, I hate to use the term kids for mm -hmm. suicide bombers, but they were kids, uh, didn't have those telltale signs of anger, and everybody Everybody was shocked that it would be these kids. Well, that's the regressive anger. That well, it so, sometimes you know you don't you repressed. don't see it. You know you you can't you can't really see it. Sometimes it'll come out interesting if you if you gave someone a personality test where they can't fake it. You might find certain uh, features, you know. But a lot of times people do not project out. Uh, as they are going to act out later. It's all internal. So there's no defense it. against them then. I it, mean, Tom is saying you've got to watch for them. What do you watch for if you can't pick it up? It's hard, but you see these kids acting out all of a sudden in schools. Well, why do they do that? They have this retained anger and they, they've been bullied. They, 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 they don't project out as being bad kids, but when they blow up, they're, they're going big time. Well, let's and talk that, a little bit about about the pastor in Florida who has right. gotten so many people upset. Pastor Jones in Gainesville, Florida, 50 people in his congregation threatened to burn the Koran. An, an, an uproar in the international right, right. community about this. Um, his personality traits. Extremely interesting to me as a psychologist. Exactly the same as the people he despises, the Muslim radicals. He's belligerent, extreme, he doesn't have any patience for anybody else, and guess what? He's always right. His religion is the right way and the only way, and if you don't believe in his way, you're, you're going to hell. That's, that's, that's what he hates about the other side, but he's just like them. It's very interesting. And well, another interesting thing that he said is, listen, if, if, if people burned a thousand Bibles, uh, you would have anger amongst the Christian community, but I don't think that you would have uh, Christians going out and murdering people unlike what this has caused already, uh, and uh, nothing even happened in the international community about burning the Koran. Just the thought of it, not actual burning. The thought of it, but but the fact is that he is an example of such an extremist that he doesn't realize what this means to certain Muslims in the Muslim world. He doesn't have a conception, or a psychologist talk about percept. He doesn't ha perceive this correctly, and he has his own narrow, uh, focused thought, just like the extremists who want to kill us. And, and that's, where he, that's where he's at with this whole thing. And do you think the media fed into that a little bit too much and, and, and caused some of the uproar? Because again, they say it's a, it's a congregation of 50 people. Well, you know, the media in this case is, is damned one way or the other, because if they don't cover the case very much, somebody's going to shoot this off on the internet today with the, the, the internet, it'll be a, a scene in, in seconds. Right. So I, I, I think that really is, is kind of a, a catch-22 there. You know? All right. Well, Dr. Rossi, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. And that is going to do it for this week. Again, you can catch that interview with Tom Kane on IO uh, Digital Cable. I'm Laura Jones. And I'm Jim McQueenie, and we'll catch you next time.